Can you see or tell us what the number one mistake is uh, that you see that's made in silage production that has a negative result on the quality of the fodder being produced? Yeah, I guess on, on, on the built silage point of it, I, the farmers leave it to the contractor to do and they rely 100% on what the contractor does. So is the contractor doing the job for the benefit of the farmer or more for himself? So I think the farmer should be more involved in the whole process, that they should understand the value of the silage that they're putting into a bale, and they should understand how they should be able to produce better quality silage. So instead of thinking about reducing costs at the production side of it, what is that bale going to produce at the other end? Uh, and they can improve the quality of their silage, improve their output if they paid more attention to that side of it. It's a key point I think here is, uh, we have a lot of product going into contractors and it's the farmer uh, who is using the contractor's product which is the product that we have supplied to them. So Exactly and a lot of contractors will look at they're under pressure to reduce costs so they will cut it back to the minimum and some of them will decide well we can get a product that's a bit cheaper but is that product the one that's going to do the job best? Uh, getting it onto the bill is the first part but what's it doing long term on the bill? So I think farmers need to pay more attention to the what that bill is actually doing for them and if they if they did that they would definitely get a better product yeah i agree no one's ever complained about paying top dollar for the top product